Okay guys, welcome back. We're going to be talking about how to fall asleep faster, even if you're not actually that tired. You know, how do you just fall asleep straight away? So, basically I'm going to be telling you about 30 to 50, depending on how well this goes, tips or ways that you can fall asleep faster, okay? So let's just get right into it. Put whatever you're doing away, you know, pay attention and leave a comment by the way letting me know if any of these worked for you or if you have any that you know I haven't mentioned. So number one, make sure your room is comfortable. A really important way that you can you know fall asleep faster is just to make sure that you're sleeping on something comfortable. Get a memory foam mattress, a memory foam topper, make sure there's you know ample the temperature's right in the room, make sure there's airflow and you're not you know sleeping on marbles or something. Just make sure you're comfortable. Number two Make sure that there's you don't expose yourself to too much light during you know the lead up to trying to fall asleep. In the last hour or two of the day, try not to have any light going into your eyes. Try not to watch screens. Don't don't try not to watch films. Try not to look at your phone because these things stop your body producing melatonin, which is the sleep hormone, the hormone of darkness, which is supposed to help you fall asleep. These you know artificial lights stop your body producing melatonin, which makes it harder to fall asleep. Okay, number three. Meditate before you go to bed. This is a big one. I have attributed my you know, improved sleep recently almost entirely to meditation. Just meditating even for 10 minutes before you go to bed changes the brainwave state you're in and makes it easier to fall asleep. It makes you more relaxed and it makes the whole process faster. Number four, get your room to a good temperature. You want your room to be comfortable. You don't want it to be too cold. You don't want it to be too hot. I would say if you had to choose one, Try and make it slightly colder than you're used to. Not freezing, but just slightly colder because our bodies lower our temperature anyway when we fall, fall into deep sleep. So you'll be helping the process by just making sure that you sleep in a slightly cool environment. Number five, this is a, a big one by the way. Make yourself tired during the day. You wanna be at a place where you're doing exercise every single day, and even if it's just for 10 or 20 minutes, but just try and do more with your day. Try and if someone needs help lifting something, offer to lift it. Make yourself tired and really spend yourself and you'll find that going to sleep in the evening just becomes 10 times easier. Number six, don't overthink things. Uh, it's often easy to you know, fall into the trap when you're trying to fall asleep of saying, oh no, it's, you know, it's 12 o'clock now, I still haven't fallen asleep. Now it's half one in the morning, I'm still not asleep, I need to be up for work. This is a trap, okay? This, this makes it difficult and it makes it harder to fall asleep because you're constantly feeling guilty or constantly making yourself feel bad, right? Try not to do that. Try not to overthink things. Number seven, if you really can't fall asleep, okay, and if you're really finding it difficult, just do something else for 10 minutes. Get out of bed and go and read a book or go for a walk or make yourself a tea or whatever it is. Just do something and then after 10 or 20 minutes, go back and try again. By the way, don't mistake this for looking at your phone because that won't help at all. Do something without involving an artificial light or screen. Number eight, don't look at the time. When you look at the time constantly, you're gonna, again, be falling into this guilt cycle where you're constantly thinking, it's 11 o'clock now, I'm still not asleep. It's 12 o'clock, I'm still not asleep. You don't need to know that. And it's just gonna make you more stressed and make it you know, even harder to fall asleep. Just put the phone away, cover the alarm clock, and don't look at the time. Number nine, Wear socks to bed. This is a weird one. <laughs> and uh, I know it might not sound like it works, but it does. I don't know why, don't know how, but wear socks to bed. Number 10, dip your face in freezing cold water. What this does is this triggers the mammalian dive reflex, which helps your body to relax and shut down all your processes, you know, and just sort of get into a deep, meditative, uh, relaxing state. Failing that, it just feels nice and it soothes your face and, you know, gets you ready for sleep. Number 11, make a dream pillow. Now this is something that can help you with lucid dreaming also, but making a dream, ma making a dream pillow involves just putting you know, herbs and relaxing things into a small bag and then having that bag underneath your pillow as you go to sleep. It can include lavender, rosemary, you know, all these things that will help you feel relaxed. 12, binaural beats. Now they are sound waves which are played in stereo headphones which move you into a different brainwave state. They affect the way your brain actually works. Okay, they're actually really cool. I'm not gonna go into them here, just look in the description and uh, try them out. Okay, number 13, take a warm bath before bed. Okay, it's really simple, really effective, but if you just have a warm bath before you go to bed, 
you will feel 10,000 times more relaxed and you know, it's the best thing. Conversely, if you want to wake yourself up, have a cold shower because that really wakes you up. 14, use the 478 method of breathing. I'm not gonna explain what that is because I want you to Google it and learn it for yourself, but just try this method of breathing and see if it works. Number 15, get your partner to give you a massage. I would focus on a upper body or neck shoulder massage because this will help you feel relaxed and easier. It would feel easier to fall asleep. Number 16, this is to do with diet, okay? Don't eat really heavy foods before bed, meaning don't have like heavy proteins and fats and things that are hard to digest because that's gonna make your digestive system keep you awake. You ideally wanna have some sort of vegetables, maybe some light carbs and a small amount of protein or fat. Maybe you have 10% of the diet or 10% of the meal as protein or fat and the rest is carbs or vegetables. 17, drink something warm before going to bed. It can be tea, it can be coffee, well, actually, it can't be coffee because that has caffeine, which keeps you awake. Tea, hot water, juice, milk, warm milk, whatever it is. Something warm and soothing. 18, get a good mattress. This sort of goes back to one of the first ones I mentioned, but just make sure your mattress is comfortable. Ideally, memory foam with ideally a memory foam topper because this makes it a lot easier to fall asleep. It's really comfortable. And it's well worth the 20 quid or 30 quid it costs. 19 and 20. Be comfortable with what you're wearing and just get your posture right. Just make sure that you're sleeping on your side or your back. Try not to sleep on your face, you know, face down because that's not so good for, you know, breathing and it's not very comfortable. And just generally try and make yourself more comfortable as you're trying to go to sleep. 21, bedtime routine. I'm gonna leave a link to, the, to a, a bedtime routine video, but failing that, just make sure that you stack your habits in the evening, brush your teeth, you know, wash your face, go and have some dinner, meditate, write your dreams down, and do whatever. Well, whatever that your routine consists of, just make a routine and, and get into the habit of doing the same thing every night. 22, read something before you go to bed. This is actually an, a really good one because it not only helps you fall asleep faster, right? But it also helps you learn and you know develop whatever you're trying to develop. If you're trying to learn a language, build a business, whatever. Study for an exam, read something before bed and you'll, you'll really notice the difference in your you know, intelligence. 23, write in a journal before you go to bed. This is a good one. This is something that not only helps you lucid dream, but also helps you, <coughs> it also helps you, you know, work on things that you can improve on. It can help you identify what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right in your day, so that the next day you can do it all that much better and easier. 24, if possible, try not to nap during the day. Whenever you nap, you're sort of, resetting your body things so that you don't need to sleep as much in the evening and without getting too scientific it just makes it harder to fall asleep you just need to save your sleep for the evening 25 don't ingest caffeine <laughs> i know a lot of you probably drink a lot of coffee and that's fine but if you can try and wean yourself off coffee because it's not good it reinforces a dopamine cycle in which you're never satisfied and you constantly need more and more caffeine in order to in order to you know, satisfy the same craving and urges. And if you'll notice, you don't really feel that refreshed and energetic, you just think you do. You feel, obviously, the initial burst from caffeine, the initial burst of focus and, uh, you know, incre improved uh, brain function, but then you crash and you suddenly need another coffee or you feel jittery or you feel tired, you know? So just try and limit ca caffeine entirely. 26, try and wake up at the exact same time every day, even on the weekends. And this is difficult, I know, because on the weekends you wanna, you know, you wanna have fun and sleep in, have a have a lay in, have breakfast in bed, you have brunch, whatever. But it's gonna destroy your sleep habits in the long run if you keep doing that. Our bodies aren't designed to have spontaneous sleep times. You know, we're designed to go to sleep when the sun goes down and wake up when the sun comes up. So if you can, try and stick to that. 27, during the day, get as much sunshine as you possibly can. Make sure that you're opening all the curtains, you're rolling all the blinds up, and that you're going outside during the day. Sunshine is important. The vitamin D not only helps you, you know, in your skin, it also helps you to feel more relaxed and it makes it easier to fall asleep later on as well. 28. If you do use screens, especially laptops or, you know, whatever during the day, download a program called Flux, and that's spelled F L dot U X. That's the website address. What that does is that strips out the blue light from the screen, meaning that your body is gonna respond 
better. You're not gonna be suppressing your melatonin production. You're just gonna be experiencing the normal, you know, waking day that you would, as if you weren't watching screens. 29, have sex just before going to sleep. This is a great way of releasing, you know, releasing energy, feeling better, becoming more connected with your partner, for example. It's also a way of making yourself instantly tired and pretty much as soon as you're done, you'll wanna fall asleep anyway. It'll make it easier. Number 30, stop yourself or your partner snoring. Snoring is one of the biggest reasons and causes of you know insomnia and being unable to sleep properly. So if you can, try and either stop yourself or your partner snoring quickly. You know, you use uh, snoring strips, you can get sprays now, you can get nasal, nasal sprays, for example. Just try and stop the snoring happening because it keeps you awake. Number 31, prep your mind with relaxation. Before you go to sleep, tell yourself that you're gonna fall asleep easily and quickly and reinforce that by just meditating and relaxing. Maybe burn some incense or something and just, you know, relax your muscles as much as possible. 32 is number uh, one which most of us don't do, but we should do, and that is to drink more water during the day. When you drink water, you not only hydrate your whole body, but you also give your body everything it needs to work properly. It's gonna make it a lot easier to fall asleep in the evening, and it's gonna make you feel a lot better as well. Number 33, and I think we'll end on this one, Make sure you stretch out your muscles before you go to sleep. Uh, I don't know how or why this works, but I find that if I do a full body stretch before going to sleep, I fall asleep faster. So hopefully this has helped you guys. You know, if you have struggled falling asleep, you'll know how annoying it is. Um, this is the only tips I can think to mention for the moment. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Done.